Hi, uh, I'm Sovik. I'm a management consultant. I live in Dubai. With the nature of my work, I travel a lot across different countries. And me being an avid reader, I needed something by which I could carry a lot of my books every day on the flights uh, so that it becomes easier for me and there's no much weight restriction that I have. So for that, recently I bought, in fact a year back, I bought an iPad 2. It's a fantastic piece of machine. Uh, in fact, I just love it. Uh, it's given me that required mobility that uh, is required while I'm traveling to different destinations. It gives me all the features to check my emails, listen to music, watch movies, uh, stay in touch with my friends through Facebook and so on. But when I started reading, I realized there's some disadvantages to it. Uh, having migrated from a classic book like Feel, where you can feel the book and, the, and it's easy to read, Easy, it comes easily on the eyes. I found iPad had a lot of glare coming back, which is so typical of any uh, LCD or LED type of uh, screens. So, one of my friends recommended Kindle for me, and uh, I ordered it from the US. I have a Kindle, the, the base version of Kindle, it's a black and white uh, device, and I found it extremely, extremely helpful while I'm reading, while I'm on the go. I'm just going to compare some of the features of Kindle versus iPad which I think makes it so much better while you want to read on the go. Uh, there are four things that I want to discuss about which makes Kindle stand out compared to the iPad 2. The first thing is the make of Kindle. It's very lightweight and uh, it's very small so if you're traveling it just fits in the palm of your hand. It's very light so it, even in different positions while you're leaning back or while you're moving across you can you can actually move it and it doesn't feel heavy on your hands. If you compare that to the iPad, iPad is much more bulkier, um, it's, it's heavy and it's uh, something which is not very easily, if you want to move it around, you want to lean back, you can feel the weight on your wrist. So it's something which makes Kindle better. Uh, there's another thing which makes it really interesting is the fact it has a, I, I believe it's patented, but they have a, a screen format which is, uh, doesn't have a backlight. Right, so it doesn't give you the glare that an iPad gives you. So while you're reading the book, it's as, as if you're reading an actual book, a physical book. Um, when you compare that to the iPad, you'll see that the text comes very easy to the eyes. It's, um, it, it's, black, it's black and white and there's no glare. So it makes it much more easier even while you're reading for hours and hours and hours. Right? Um, the sun is coming right from behind. But still, it's very easy to read. So this is one of the books that I'm reading, uh, reading by Daniel Kahneman. It's called uh, Think Fast and Slow. You can easily read all the words in here, even though the light is coming from behind. And there's no glare as such. I'm opening the same book that I have on uh, Kindle, uh, on iPad, on one of the apps called the iBooks. And you can see, you can directly see that when the sun is falling right from behind, it's kind of hard to see. Um, I have to move it around to make it comfortable for me to view. Similarly, when you're reading it in the night time or when you're reading under a light, when you're reading for long hours, this can get strainful because like any other computer screen, it has light coming from behind. Compare that to a Kindle, there's no light at the, uh, from coming from behind, so it's like reading a book. This again has some disadvantage due, due to the same fact, because there's no light. If you're reading in the night with all lights switched off, you'll not be able to read it like any other book, whereas in an iPad you would be able to do so. But not to worry, uh, Amazon Kindle they come up with a lamp which you can fix at the top of uh, this Kindle here and it's like reading in a lamp. So that's taken care of but uh, so that you are aware of it, in the night this will not work. The third thing which is extremely interesting in this again is I find the uh, link with the dictionary and the Wikipedia. So, if you say, say if you're reading a book and you're stuck in a page where you find some words that you don't know, you can just click on the word. If you're connected to the Wi-Fi, it'll take you to the dictionary, and you can easily see what the meaning of that word is. Similarly, you can also find there's some phrases. You can click on it, and it'll take you to the Wikipedia link. You can share those phrases, so it makes it much more easier to read. Compare that to an iPad 2 app. So, if you're looking at something like an iBook, right? Um, iBook will give you that standard interface with all the glare in there. So if you click on the iBook, actually this is the same book that I'm reading. It, it has the same features as you have in any of the iPad. Um, you have access to the library where you can download all the different books. And you can see that uh, there's a new stand kind of feature which iPad 
and iBook has, and then the other books which you can read. Uh, I'm not able to scroll. Oh, well, at the moment, these are the only books I have. But uh, so this is something. Uh, there, there you go. So there's, these are something that you can uh, have as a newsstand when you are accessing or reading books through an iPad. There are um, one one of the features which in Kindle you'll find it uh, short. I mean, in the base version of Kindle, uh, but you can have the same features in a more upgraded version of Kindle, like a Kindle Fire. For example, if you're reading something which is text and a lot of graphics, uh, the same experience will not be there in a Kindle because it's a black and white interface and the pixels are not as uh, rich as you, you might have on an iPad. For anything like this, or if you're reading like a high uh, quality picture magazine like digital photography or um, any of the gossip magazines, you would want to read something something like that on on an iPad. You can see that the colors come out more um, enhanced and in, in case of retina display with the new iPad and so on, the effect even gets uh, improved significantly. I'm not sure if you can, um, if Kindle, so Kindle comes with another version which is the top end version which is called Kindle Fire which supports the color uh, color version and it has all the features of uh, what you might typically see on an iPad but uh, I cannot watch for that since I do not have it. The fourth thing which uh, is really interesting again about it is the link to the Amazon store. So once you, are, once you buy a Kindle you can uh, register yourself on Amazon with your credit card. Uh, all credit cards across the world are accepted so I'm registered on the American uh, Amazon store with my UAE credit card and once you're registered with one click of the mouse, any book in the world is accessible and gets downloaded within 10 seconds. And if you compare that to iPad, I mean it's not that easy at all. You have to go into iBooks or even go to the, uh, you have to download the Amazon uh, app and many of the countries don't even allow it. For example in UAE there's some, it's, it's, it's not easy, you have to circumvent different things to be able to download a book and so on. So that makes it much more easier when you're working with, uh, with the Kindle.